Singapore's central bank is keeping monetary policy unchanged. Its latest review reveals there won't be an immediate impact on the prices of goods and services, but prices could still weaken slightly due to weak consumer spending and a slack labor market. Economists expect consumer prices to rebound next year as the economy recovers. Brandon Tenoto with more. In a move that's expected by at least 10 financial houses, the Monetary Authority of Singapore has stood pat on its monetary policy, adding that this stance will stay for some time. This follows an easing at its previous meeting in March to support the economy amid the pandemic. And it comes as the economy is tipped to recover next year, though momentum will be weak. In other words, they are taking a more cautious approach in terms of their expectation for next year's growth outlook. In terms of economic cycle, the worst is already behind us. But the MAS uh, is not able to revert back to you know, a default uh, monetary policy stance, which in Singapore's uh, you know, instance is a gradual appreciation, mainly because we are only at the start of this whole recovery process. And the recovery ahead is likely to be uneven. With policy unchanged, economists say the Singapore dollar will remain stable, meaning the country's exports won't turn cheaper or pricier to global buyers. We are looking at inflation to stay negative for the remainder of 2020, but the pace of decline will likely ease. Uh, services and retail costs are gradually normalizing as the, the economy reopens. Uh, and utilities costs will likely uh, be picking up, but at a very uh, slow and gradual pace, given um, the slight improvement in energy prices in the third quarter. With an economic recovery priced in, MAS has upgraded its inflation forecast for this year, from between minus 1% and 0% to between minus 05 and 0%.